um, we're, number one, we're trying to characterize the geology uh, of the seamount, both in terms of crust uh, that you might find on the surface of the rocks that precipitates out from the seawater. Uh, we're also going to characterize, um, if we can, with our rock collections, um, what kinds of rocks are present, if any of the rocks are usable for age dating of the seamounts, which is important. We don't know how old they are relative to the surrounding seafloor. So that will help put this um, seamount chain into a context, uh, geological context, history. We're also going to be doing some characterizing of the seamount benthic community. Um, this usually includes corals, sponges, uh, but also other things like crinoids and sea stars and other mobile fauna, fishes, for example. Um, we'll be trying to take a look at all of those things so that when we go back and characterize uh, and analyze this video later, um, we'll be able to better identify the things that we see. Um, so this is kind of just our standard basic exploration format. Um, going to see what we see and sample what we can uh, over the course of the dive today. I like that. See what we see, sample what we can. <laughs> the motto of deep those, sea exploration. Th those rocks, sometimes <laughs> they're tough. So we sample what we can. Maybe we'll just continue with introductions after that in the back row. Ashley, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Ashley Mickens. I'm the data logger on board. So I'll just be taking note of uh, what we see on the bottom, um, making note of any samples that we collect, and just taking a couple of screenshots uh, from the video feed. Um, I'm a master's student at the University of Victoria and first time on the Nautilus. So very excited to be here. Ashley, and then maybe do front row introductions if people are able. We'll start with Steve, video Steve. Hey, this is Steve in the video chair for the 12 to 4 watch. Glad to be here. Great. Do we have our ROV pilots on? Yeah, uh, Josh Chernob. I'm the sitting in the Argus seat for this watch. I'm Gabby. I'm sitting in the Herc seat. My name is Kate, and I am in the navigator seat. Great. Thanks, everyone. And I'm Kelly Barron. I'm sitting in the science communication seat. Thanks all for joining the 12 to 4 watch. We started at midnight, and we've been descending uh, the ROVs for about two hours and getting close to the seafloor so we can start exploring. Thanks for joining us tonight. Where do you like to... Uh stop and get situated uh like 50. east That's coast is just waking up good. so they should be popping on soon get our false bottom on the sub yeah yeah it's always I've, fun yeah <laughs> i've been i've been like yeah. doppler sonars yeah bottom <laughs> yeah, good me too <laughs> yeah like i don't believe you yeah you get that false yeah a little rap usually it's only about not 200 away by the time you see it so I'm a surprised we haven't actually seen the bottom yet. DVL ground is laundry. It was up to almost two meg there. Yeah. Oh wow, no. Hopefully it's just a connector. I. Yeah, the it's got a that low profile connector on it. I Yeah. I mean, I understand why. Yeah. It's there, but. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it makes sense. It's just fiddly. Yeah. There's the actual bottom. It looks exactly yep. like the fake one. <laughs> <laughs> huh. It's great. <laughs> 200 meters.
Bottom lock. <clears throat> At 100 meters, we got bottom lock, Kate. That's pretty rad. Oh, that's great. That's what the 600? Yeah. Come all stop on the winch. Roger that. Nav, can you give me twenty meter grid spacing? Absolutely. Nav G. And what's gonna be our direction of travel? We're gonna be heading going to be southeast east or southwest west approximately bearing i'm in the wrong two two zero two two zero no that is incorrect thank you wait a minute no that was correct sorry yeah okay two two zero south south west Southwest. Uh, what am I coming around to port to get to two two zero? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where are you at? And you need to get a wrap out. Um. Your wraps are good to me. Yeah, you've got us. Yeah, yeah to get the six so eight out, and I'll have port. to come out, and I'll have to take one out. So. Yeah. Do you want me? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to come around to port and kind of take uh, your same heading? Yes, and then yep. I'll I'll uh, get in view ish, okay. and then do undo my wrap. Okay. Enough slack, you think? Yeah, probably. Mm, yeah. 17 meter delta. Okay, coming around to port. Roger. Looks like you're just right under me. Is that... That's a question I have. Where do you prefer, like, if you're doing tether management stuff, where do you prefer to keep uh, Herc relative to Argus? I'd like to be able to see the tether, so I usually keep Herc in visual. Oh, okay. Just because I like to kind of see the tether if it yeah. ends up with a little loop in it or something. Yeah, so better than you can in fisheye. I mean, yeah, I can, I mean, sure, you can see it there too, right? Yeah. I mean, um, Maybe you could go down just a little bit. Roger that. Uh, 
but yeah, just so you can kind of make sure you, because sometimes you get that football little yeah, twist totally. in there, which oftentimes if you tug on it, it flips itself out, but. Yeah, okay, I'm heading down a bit for that. Okay. So, yeah, I got, I mean, we're pretty good. Half a wrap and then tether and half a wrap on the 6.8. Okay. Uh, what do you want? What do you want to do? Do you want? So I'll just turn around. If we're at half, yeah. I'll, let's see. If I turn around to two two zero. I'll, I could follow you around to two two zero, and then okay. you can get out in front a little bit, Sounds and then we can good. go down. Sounds good. Okay, I'm ready to head down when you are. Okay. Let's go. I wonder if it's going to be a little bit less good visibility here. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Could How do you mean? Could indicate that there's more seafloor oh, biodiversity. Interesting. Okay. Density. Whenever you have more stuff in the water column, that means more food. Not great for imagery, but maybe <laughs> good for biology. Okay, I've got the bottom. Right. They tend to move up through layers of turbidity on the seamount, so it's entirely possible this could just be a, a narrow band of turbidity that will move in and out of over the course of the dive. Let me know when we're ready for a white balance. Roger that. Let's get a let's get a Doppler reset first. Yeah, I'll stop on the winch. Roger. Do an initial gauge check. Are you out of auto XY? Yep, I am out of auto XY. Okay. Is that reset in? Yeah. Awesome. Yep, we're on dead rack positioning now. Okay. Okay, I'll put the arm out for that uh, white balance in just a sec, Steve. Great, and would you turn the lasers off and uh, confirm the porch light is off? Copy that, porch light is definitely off. <laughs> Roger. Lasers are off. Do we not have a porch light right now? We do no, not have a porch light. Like not wired up at the moment. <laughs> okay, roger that.
Okay, go for it. You want a better line up there? Um, yeah. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Thanks. That's great. How's that? That's great, thank you. Okay, we're gonna go dark for a moment. RJ? And we're all set, thank you. Okay. So I'm not getting any hits on the X pond right now, at least it's been just got one. Okay. I'm going to keep an eye on it for the next okay. minute. Good. All right, gauges are checked and look pretty good, other okay. than a few little ground faulty things. And okay, sounds good. Tensions are not bad. Biggest hit is 13.7, kind of averaging 11-ish. Okay. Okay, I'm um, seeing a little bit of upslope to our like northwest, yeah. but also to the west. So, you oh, still like two two zero or? Yeah, two two zero. Okay. Um, and Steve, you can speak up. That's gonna head us to our waypoint and kind of along our ridge trajectory. It's gonna start out steeper, and then once we hit the waypoint, it will shallow a little bit or become flatter. Um, okay. It's about 750 meters away. I think that we need to switch over to the other beacon on Argus. I'm not getting any updated positions on it. Okay. Um, okay. I'm just going to test that out really quick. You guys are fine, correct? Sure. Yeah, okay. totally. You want me to turn the power on that one then? Um, we don't need power to, yeah. to, do, to use it. As a responder? Correct. We don't need power to use it as a responder. Oh, okay. Okay, it's going to come up really quickly as the small box elevator one. Um, if you guys give me probably 90 seconds, I can switch it over, and that will correct our downstream data feed. So, okay. Well, you might as well get the ship moving because it's going to take a good 10, 15 minutes Probably. or so to get yeah. Argus moving, right? Yeah, this step, strong screen. Um. Back row, you guys are good to start our move? Yeah, yeah, we can get started. Okay. Probably want to move. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with a 100 meter move then at bearing 220. I'm happy with that. It looks pretty smooth here. Yeah. All right. Bridge, Nev. We're going to get a uh, move on. Can we move 100 meters bearing 220 at 0 0.3 knots? That is correct. Thank you. So it looks like we're just seeing uh, kind of patchy sheet flows in the seafloor here but there's largely surrounded by a field of nodules um, we saw when we first got onto the bottom uh, i can't tell what's dominant here we're just kind of drifting over what's 
you know, in the area, but it seems like the nodules are dominant and they're just outcrops of more consolidated rocky substrate all around. Everything looks to be fairly solid um, where it's not nodules, but take a look. I imagine the scoop will come in handy. It does this we're going to be seeing. Oh, do we have a scoop today? Oh, yeah, we're scooping. Oh, heck yeah. Is this the Mark III again? Oh, <laughs> yeah. We have There's not moved on to four yet. We have to lose it to move on to four. <laughs> There's an eel right Ish. in front of yep. us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go say hi until he gets angry with us. Oh, I can see the lasers in the still cam now. I never noticed that before. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's just a substrate. I, th I feel like it's a little bit murkier here than typical. Yeah. Go for zoom. It's like a cusk eel. We don't have a lot of uh, leash right now. The nodules in, are higher okay, density here than what we've seen in the past. Is there a way to, uh, at your convenience, no, no urgent need for this, um, to just touch the bottom and see if it's solid or if these nodules yeah, are totally. um, kind of loosely held here? Yeah. Just gonna pull into a less off to the side position. And yeah. Here, I bet, I wonder if we can just see it even with touching down with the porch. We can always just um, poke at it with the arm as well. Sure. Will it move? Yeah, it looks like they're pretty loosely held. Okay, it's good to know. Okay. Thanks. It's washed out. Let's see what else we can see. I'm messing with the still cam okay moment. trying to get my settings right or better is the mongo tucked away in its um, normal position it could maybe get some shoulder out let me try yeah it's all the way away i must be looking Roger. weird let's uh i can play with that a little bit if okay. you want Oh, it's ri it's going to be in the wrist. It's yeah. not in the shoulder. Yeah, it's going to be a wrist left, I think. This is kind of cool. There's Two a plastic bottle on our left. Very starkly different substrates. Oh, yeah. Or a, another can, actually. Yeah. Yeah. First sign of life down here. Not oh, the kind we want to see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but the second and third are. That's a good spot. Josh. Okay, I just got to elbow down a little bit here. Okay, yeah. I'll come back wide again. That's full wide. Okay, is that a better spot? That's great. Can't see okay. it. Thanks. Yep. It's a kind of a strange start. Oh, that's roll. a good swell. Wow. That's 14.8? Yep. Hang on. 
Is he, is his heading staying constant there? Yeah. Okay. He's taking his head off this, this well. Argus is only just starting to get moving right now, so we have time to look at this little, this an enemy or crinoid or anything you want to see. Yeah, the, the yellow thing in the upper right. Oh, yeah? Star. Okay. Can do that. Good place to start. Crinoid? Star? I think it's a crinoid, but I wasn't sure at the beginning. It was a little bit more mobile than I expected a crinoid to be. Okay. Go for zoom. Okay. Yeah, crinoid. Oh, and you're judging by the little feet that it's using to connect to the rock, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, the, the white nodules are kind of interesting around the arm tips. I wonder if those... You can go in just closer? Could be... Uh, what those are. Is that some type of egg or larva, maybe? It, it could be. It could be, yeah. Okay. Yeah, normally the, the gonadal materials in the arms uh, themselves, but sometimes when they're really kind of ripe, they tend to it tends to come out. But but those yeah, those could. could okay, go wide. Great shot. Awesome. Still get myself situated <laughs> here. <laughs> A rogue wave there. Well, I think he. I think he looks like he's bringing his head back to. No, maybe not. Probably woke a few people up. Uh, nodule city down here. Yeah, seriously. It looks cool though. Yep. Some broken sheet flows. I like it. I like the terrain. It's not too sedimented. What do you mean by segmented? Sedimented like Oh sedimented. In, uh, yeah, like drape draped uh on the sediment. It's what would that mean well if it was very sedimented? What would you see? Could, it could suggest that currents here are sluggish. Okay. Um, but there's not a lot of buildup of uh, sediment, mostly in the cracks and crevices. Uh, also, to have nodules uh, form in this manner, you need to have a, a certain balance between sedimentation and current. Oh, uh, interesting. Scour. Otherwise, the nodules get smothered. Interesting. So the nodules tend to point to the kind of life you want to see, even if we don't have it here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, nodules themselves aren't, aren't you're not going to find large coral colonies and assemblages associated with nodules that just doesn't have the substrate right. stability. But um, sometimes you can find small things like uh, sponges associated with them, xenophyophores, bryozoans. Right. Do you mind just slowing down the scan rate on the Argus Mezzo? Yeah. It's a little bit smeary. I 
It's hard for me enough. to tell which one I've selected. There we go. Okay. Scan speed. So as the first watch on bottom is the first that's, time that's we've good. been on watch when we've been on bottom. Yeah, this is our first one. It's first blue water. Yeah. Yeah. Guess what that means? What does that mean? We get to pick the first rock collection. <laughs> oh, that's great. I was like, where are you going with this? Steve looked very excited. <laughs> oh, man. I'm all for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep spin. this move going. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, she she yeah. just loves to lay the carrots down in front of the front row, doesn't he? He knows. <laughs> this is a good ops scientist. Oh, yeah. He knows, knows how it's it, done. Yeah, knows how to make the front row happen. Yeah. <laughs> but we're still going to try and find a rock that's kind of like moderate size, not crazy huge boulders. What? That's yeah, you can't walk it back now. Yeah, well, no, I it's... I got to keep, keep uh, expectations reasonable here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm just shooting myself in the foot. I'm going to have to figure out how to put all these on one pallet. <laughs> <laughs> if I get too big of a rock. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. I'm going to play a big game of Jenga, reverse <laughs> Jenga, when I'm back at the dock. I'm going to put all the blocks boxes together yeah i feel like it's more of a tetris yeah it could tetris, be tetris yeah jenga i mean we could play jenga with it <laughs> reverse jenga reverse jenga looks like we got just a little bit of the lift line squirted out of the daisy chain just in the right there oh yeah i do see that i think it'll be That's all right it might maybe Maybe if you get stretched out once, you could just like yeah. tug on it. Tug I feel like, hole. but we were stretched out that whole descent, right? Yeah. yeah, just sometimes it just, I don't think yeah. it's a big deal. Yeah, uh, okay. Keep an eye on it. Sea cucumber. Great. Are we still looking for sea cucumbers to collect? Or? Yeah, but that's not the one we're looking for. <laughs> what color is the one we're looking for? They're usually pink or translucent or sometimes white. Why are we looking for a pink one and not a purple one? We're looking for... Uh, Specific ones that are, um, they, they're tar so this, this, this research that we're sampling for complements another study done uh, on abyssal soft sediment environments. Um, so the researchers who reached out to us uh, already looked at primarily four, four or five different species or, or genera that um, they are, had found. So we want to try and find complementary species in the seamount environment. Um, so it's not just all sea cucumbers, it's kind of targeted. Okay. So oh, tiny is sponge. this our yeah, first sponge? Can yep. you say hi? Go for Zoom. Cutie. Yeah. Wow. It's on a nodule. It's on a nodule, yeah. Yeah, interesting. Very well supported, though. Looks like it has a couple different attachment points. Do you think it's attached at that, like, elbow? It could be. Yeah, they, they do have the ability to do that. No kidding. Okay, go on. That would give it some, some more support. It's probably colophagus. Uh, seems to be most resembling that genus. Do we have a target depth for our first rock sample? Or is it more just whenever we see the first one, that's the first one? Yeah, I'm keeping my eye out for, eye out for the first one um, that either is kind of a breakable outcrop, you know, where it's not going to be too much of a difficulty to, to crack something off or some relatively in place kind of, you know, it doesn't look like it's fallen down slope rock. Okay. Slope's not steep here. Yeah. The 
mostly looks like nodules here and nodules while they may tell us something about kind of the crust uh, composition, it doesn't necessarily give us any insight to um, the volcanic rock uh, that composes the seamount. A lot of the nuclei of these nodules could be things as small as sand, sand grains. So Steve, here we're getting these rocks that look like they're sort of the end of these flows. Yeah, yeah. Some of them might be broken off, but they're also quite thin. Can we take a half zoom on some of those ledges? Uh, yeah. Where, the, where you see cracks there? Yeah. Just to see. Go for zoom. What kind of relief they are. It's a really tiny sponge. Not much uh, in the way of kind of. Uh, there's some large things there. I guess we would have to sit down and probe around. But I'm thinking that's like, fine. We can do that anytime you want. So you see this this thing and yeah, go that. wide. Yeah, I see it. That's one that I've been looking at, sorta. Yeah. So something like that. I mean, uh -huh. I, I'm curious if that's loose. Yeah, totally. Um, it's kind of on the good size side um, you know the maximum maximum side we might want to take but if it's loose um, I guess we'll we'll see if that's a good candidate I'm worried that it's a little just flat it's kind of just okay but we'll take a look um, I can shop stop this stop the ship yeah. but we'll keep Go for it. The layback will keep moving on Argus. Yeah, that's fine. Or I keep the layback small, kind of like that. Bridge, Nav. Can you come all stop for a sample collection, please? It's pretty flat. Yeah. You lift it up and show me the underside. Yes. You know that that's kind of just like either pure crust. Not quite what you're looking for. Not really. Okay, yeah, great. Thank you. Yeah, I was uh, hoping for a bit something a bit more substantial. I think we should keep going. Okay. I think when the slope picks up a bit, we might find more opportunities. Next couple hundred meters or so. We can keep the ship moving. Bridge, Nav. We're going to continue our move. Can you move 100 meters, bearing 220? Nothing like back-to-back -back seamount cruises to turn a biologist into a rock snob. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you are now, a rock snob? <laughs> Seemed like that one wasn't good enough. Rock connoisseur? Yeah, there you go. Ooh. I also thought it was a bit too flat. Yeah. 
Let's turning ROV pilots into rock snobs. <laughs> I think we can do better. Sinjid star. And Where are you looking? A, a, yeah, a pink star. The Oh yeah, yeah, I see it. Some also some coral or old sponge bases here. Yeah. Go for zoom video. Oh. There we go. Let's try that. That will go better. Okay, go on. Sea star. That was a good test, Kate. It looks like he can start and stop again. Yeah. Without ending up in weird places. Um, I was chatting with Paul on the bridge a couple days ago, and he was saying that, especially the other day, the having short moves, so 100 meters and less, or 50 meters and less, that like start stop on the DP was giving it some trouble and so forth. And he said. Um, especially in more difficult conditions, if we can do longer moves, it's generally beneficial. Okay. Which is good Sounds to know. Sounds great. Yeah. Easy enough to do here. Yeah. Keeping an extra eye on thruster and power today, so. Okay. Monitor it. It looked like the wind had picked up to like. Yeah. Um, like, like maybe almost 20? That's what it seemed like on the uh, nav display or weather watch. Okay. Can we uh, back up or? Oh yeah, that it? little sea star yeah. or something. There's something else there. I'm not okay. sure what it was. It looked coral or sponge-like. Maybe uh, another couple meters. Yeah. There it is. Here we go. Yeah. Coral. Yeah. It might be Romila Gorgia, but it's just just fine enough to warrant a second look. Some barnacles on there. Go for zoom. Oh yeah, that's at the, the top there. Pull zoom. Okay, thanks. Yeah, it's probably Romila Gorgia barnacles and and. Uh, an Ophiocanthid uh, brittle star. Awesome. Go yep. wide. Great. Do those barnacles sometimes retract those tentacles? Yeah. 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 I used to see them. I think they're out. called cirripedia. Aren't those uh, their feet? Yep. That's their feet. feet. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a, <laughs> not something you want to act out. <laughs> uh, if you could act it out, because probably you'd have to stand on your head and like they kind of sit on their head their whole life. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> uh. What's what? Sorry. It was like a black stick. It looked like. Oh. But. I gotta get out ahead. Unfortunately, I've been dallying. No coins in the zoom. Reminds me of Sonic the Hedgehog. Talk about Zoom coins. Yeah. Oh, totally. <laughs> oh, this is a dramatic guy. Another Brazingid, maybe? Yeah. I think another one. Get a Zoom as we go by. Oh, look at that. There's the seafloor. Go for Zoom. Okay, go wide. Onward, onward, onward.
So this is more turning in kind of a lumpy volcanic flow with kind of Kay. less dominant nodules. Okay. If it seems like we might get a, be able to get a rock around here, I'll just try and stay out front a little bit better. Yep. I was getting I'll, a little uh, distracted. Okay, heads up. I not not seeing anything get super obvious. There's some some candidates. It's getting better. Okay. And these are going to be rock sample Niskin combos? Correct. Okay. Yeah, I think it's it's starting to turn into sheet flows dominating lumpy in spots, but you know, where you have depression, there's nodule formations. Can't talk about the biology, so I might as well make things uh -huh. up about the <laughs> geology. But there's probably not enough relief here to really have a substantial biological community. Um, we're also it's, it's a few hundred meters deep to start having large aggregations of biology. Um, but the thing that bi the biology really wants are these, if you notice, they're always on top of the boulders. The larger um, structure is because they kind of induce a flow or a current when water moves around them speeds up the water and makes it easier. They have to work less to capture more food particles. Looks like there might be some evidence of bioturbation, um, those kind of white patches in the nodule field. Um, could be evidence of in fauna, worms and things living inside the, the sediment. And as they ex excavate their burrows, uh, Go for zoom video. it results in small mounds. These little mounds. Yeah. They don't look fresh, but... They look just out of place enough that it could have been bioturbated in the past. What is this thing on the lower left? You see that little oh, white yeah. branchy structure? Oh, yeah. Go wide. It's kind of in a darker nodule patch. Yeah, I see it. Might be a sponge stalk, but warrants a, a look if we have time. Yeah. There is a little sponge up ahead, too. Yeah, you'll find a lot of life in these nodule fields. It's tough to see Go from meters up, but... It is interesting how those nodules are, are cleaner right around there. Yeah, they're yeah. getting in darker. Could be a sponge stalk. I mean, it could also be some some kind of in fauna that's been feeding around there, uh, and and it's kind of scraping okay, the rock. Away. But it doesn't look alive to me. It looks like some sort of debris or older. Um, but yeah, it it could be some sort of in fauna uh, that is scouring those rocky surfaces, nodule surfaces, for any type of organic material that falls and settles on them. 
seafloor. I see that. I wonder if that was the end of it. Yeah. Let me turn on the power for a sec. Power's on. It had like 70% when we put okay. it in. Yep, power zone. I think we probably lost that beacon. I mean, not physically, but uh, electrically or acoustically or something. I don't think that hard ground was a good indicator or a, a good sign. She was switching to x -Pond now. I think you can probably turn off the Argus USBL since she's switching to the other one. Okay. Power is off. Uh, has he finished his move? Yeah. What's up? Did you just hear from 2411? Okay, excellent. There it is. No, that was not a great hit. Um, but I'm also getting really bad hits for Herc right now, so I might just be... How are we looking sort of topographically okay yeah they're moving backwards right <clears throat> so they're throwing wash over the trend they're throwing wash over the deucer yeah. roger so. well here we are right here this That's is why I have where a DBL. we are <laughs> Where we are. Kind of know where Argus is. It's kind of right behind Herc. Kind of know where Herc is. It's right in front of Argus.
<laughs> Can't go far. I'm feeling pretty good. Buddy system. <laughs> yeah. Great. Okay. That sounds great. Yeah, Please. I've, that sounds great. I would I would I'm pretty confident it would just be the wash with this direction we're going. Yeah, I don't know. Every time we touch it, it seems to, the ground seems to get worse. And I don't know what's going on with it. I'm sort of feeling a little demoralized by it right now. Okay. All right, well, if you guys feel comfortable. I feel good. Okay, I'll just keep an eye on it and see. It's pretty clear where things are right now. Can we look in this uh, rockier outcrop to the yeah, right side totally. and see if there's any? That that pile right in the middle, six o'clock now looks okay, but six o'clock? Yeah, or something from the middle. There's something growing on it. Something yeah, coming maybe, on it. Yeah. Uh, no. Here? Uh, yeah. Right in front of us? Well that okay. one. Josh, do you want to do a oh, sample? Sure. Are we sampling? Maybe. If it's Possibly. loose, it looks looks the best candidate. 